Good evening, everyone. Read this question. Try to do it yourself. This is again a question very, very important from the point of view of PUET entrance exam. So, <clears throat> which of the following pair is not correctly matched? Inflationary gap, cost balance approach, accelerator multiplier, and equation of exchange. <clears throat> Inflationary gap is simple. See, when we talk about gains, Keynes actually talked about why you cannot have always a full employment level. Why sometimes your economy will be in inflation and sometimes it would be in deflation. Why the role of government is important. So the concept of inflationary gap was given by Keynes. Okay. Classical to social the hamesh of full employment level. Hai. But it was Keynes who said that no, this is not true. You may have excess demand or excess supply. He is the one who talked about inflationary and deflationary gap. So this is the correct. This is the correct option. Now let's go to the second one. Cash balance approach. So cash balance approach was actually given by multiple economists. It was under the Cambridge School of Thought that cash balance approach was launched. So it was Marshall who gave his cash balance approach like M is equal to KPY. Then Pigo, he gave his cash balance approach. P is equal to KR by M. Robertson gave his cash balance approach. And Keynes also gave his cash balance approach. So it is in fact correct if we say that Pigo gave the cash balance approach. Because all these, all these school of economists, you know, the Cambridge school of economists, and they actually derived it from the Fisher equation, MV is equal to PY, or even base of that, right? Uh, so, so yes, they are we are correct in saying, or MV is equal to PD, you know, the base is that, right? So, we are correct in saying that uh, it was Pigo who gave the cash balance approach. In fact, if you're given any of these classical economists, you feel free to say that the statement is true, right? So, this is correct statement. Now, let's go to the next one. Accelerator multiplier was given by Higgs. That is also a correct statement so i've just mentioned a bit of cash balance approach if you want you can pause your videos for a second and try to look at these equations please have a look at this one also r is the real income here um, you know what we go give p is not price p is value of money it's the purchasing power okay fine so this is this is about it Achha, next, next, and next, let's come to accelerator multiplier. It was given by Higgs. Accelerator multiplier, I will do this full fledged question uh, in the coming class. Accelerator multiplier actually derives the relationship between investment and income. Now, we have told you that income is going to be investment, badegi. investment is going to be income, badegi. but how these are looped together, this is what the accelerator principle is about. So, it describes the relationship. Between investment and income, I have a full-fledged, beautiful question on that, which we will discuss in the coming classes. So, this is also correct. This is a correct statement. The only statement which is incorrect is the equation of exchange. The equation of exchange was not given by Marshall. So, actually, I come back to my point B. The equation of exchange was actually this. MV is equal to PT, which base base. And that equation of exchange, it was given by Fisher. So the equation of exchange was given by Fisher and that is what is a wrong statement. So D is incorrect and 1, 2, 3 and R correct. Right? Okay. Thank you.